Hey YouTubers, today I'm going to show you a short review uh, on the new Nikon Coolpix camera, which a digital camera, which has a digital, uh, which has a built-in projector. And uh, this is the box. So it has a built-in projector, touchscreen, three-inch LCD screen, uh, five into zoom, uh, zoom Nikkor. I don't know what that means, but it uh, has a 14.1 megapixel still shot. And a seven, it records a 720p HD movie. Uh, so that's gonna be. And then here they have a small sticker uh, which shows the color of the camera which you have purchased. And uh, on the top of it, we ha just have a simple logo. And on the bottom of the box, we have a logo. And then below that, we have the supplied items. Uh, all these are the supplied items in Chinese or Japan, I think. And these are the system requirements Windows XP, Home Edition, Professional, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. Only pre installed versions are supported. And then the items supplied are a wrist strap, a rechargeable battery, a battery charger, a USB cable, audio video cable. A remote control, a stylus, a software and CD room, a quick start guide, user's manual and a warranty. And here we have the soft, uh, the OS systems which are supported with this software, the, with the camera and the software that is Windows 7, any version of Mac, any version of Windows and it has, it supports, it supports QuickTime player, then photo nation, picture bridge, these are the type of cards that is SD and XC. Uh, ArcSoft Netfront and what picture bridge, picture bridge does is that uh, if you have a printer which has picture bridge uh, ready that's a portable printer uh, so this camera uh, comes ready uh, what should I say it support picture bridge which means you could just directly connect uh, the camera through a USB to the picture bridge supported printer uh, and print the pictures directly from this so it lasts this options like the size of paper and stuff like that so this is just the outside uh, this box has already been unboxed and I have used this camera a few times so this is just a review it's not an unboxing uh, so this is the remote uh, it has a small Nikon logo here and this is the model of the remote uh, this is the zoom in button zoom out uh, there is an ok button here yeah, you can see it then up down left right arrows and you could use the left and right arrows for forwarding and rewinding up oh. and then that was a fail uh, so here we have a slideshow button and a projector button so that's it with the remote and then we have uh, the instructions instruction manual software and stuff like that so here's a quick start guide in English. It tells you about take the camera out of the box, first step shooting and playback, uh, display pictures with the projector, installing UNX2 and using UNX2. UNX2 is a software which comes with the camera which helps you sorting the pictures and stuff like that. And then we have the instruction manuals in Arabic because I'm in United. Uh, Rates. and the user's instruction manual in English you want to take time to read this um, if you are a beginner in using digital cameras and stuff like that so you know, read this then and this is just a sheet of paper which tells you the information and recorders and stuff like that it's a quick start guide in Arabic and this is a warranty card but I think the warranty card only lasts for one year. That's not it. Okay. And here's an instruction manual for telling you how to use the PCPJ transfer. What this software does is that uh, you could connect a laptop or a PC to this directly and project the screen, the display from the laptop or PC to the camera, which you could uh, project to any screen up to 80 inches. So that's it with the books and stuff. And here are the softwares UNX2, that's for sorting the pictures. I already told you that. And this is the PCPG transfer. 
this software lets you put it from your PC or laptop it is good but uh, I don't think it's a good idea to try to project movies from the laptop or uh, PC because uh, it doesn't have a long run time because it gets hot really fast so it's only good for watching short videos from the camera directly uh, and pictures from the camera so that's a negative point right there uh, in, inside the box further from here there's nothing much here because I've already unboxed it but I'll be showing you the parts right away because this is a review right so and uh, this is my first review so if there is anything I'm missing or anything like that just comment or send me a message on YouTube so let's take a look at the device itself so uh, this is the front of the device I have to go golden color as you can see in the box I showed you uh, they give you a sticker of the color now I don't think you can see the sticker too good because they gave it in a dark color but you can understand the color by looking at it directly so uh, you don't want to touch this part this is the projector lens they don't give it uh, it doesn't have a shutter with it like the other model of Nikon which has a shutter but this model doesn't have a shutter so that's also a bad point but it's really good for uh, a camera this thin okay, it's not that thin but uh, yeah it's really good for a camera for this thin to have a projector into it so uh, I think it's only about 1 inch 1.5 something like that it has a projector flash uh, 14.1 megapixel camera and records HD movies 3 inch touch screen so that's it in the front in the back you have a touch panel and you want to note that this is not a multi touch screen uh, it cannot be used perfectly with your fingers but that's why they have given you a stylus you're supposed to uh, attach it in the end of your wristband so you could use this but you can see that this is not a multi touch screen because when you touch it you can see the in the reflections that that's ripples okay so just leave that this is the rir sensor for the remote built-in speakers this is the record on and off button and here's the c mode means you could switch from the you could choose how much megapixel you want to shoot in there. and this is the display button which you could use to have a look at the pictures you are taking in the right hand side we have a small port only one port this port supports everything so you don't want to damage that port and the bottom uh, let's go to the top first in the top we have um, yeah on the top we have a small grease switch this is used for zooming in and zooming out if you turn right it zooms in turn left it zooms out this is the on off button and here is the focus button for the projector uh, this is the focus button for the projector and the cen in the center you can see a uh, button right there that's the button for oning and off the projector and that's it in the top and the bottom uh, if you want to open the battery pack you see the small grey switch you want to pull it down then the cover just pops up uh, they would be giving you a 2GB SD card with it, uh, but I bought mine as an 8GB separately because uh, I like to take a lot of pictures and 2GB is not enough for me. So, if you want to take out your battery, uh, you see the small switch right there. You want to pull it back, and the battery just comes popping, popping out. Then you can just pull out the rest. So this is the Nikon battery and it's a rechargeable battery and if you don't know that and that's it. So when you're putting it back in you wanna see these golden stripes and the golden stripes in there. So you wanna align it properly. Yep. 
and then let's turn it on I'll sh show you the clarity of the pick uh, that is I don't think you can see that good but it's nice and they're talking about the wide lens as you can see it has a wide lens and uh, I can show you a few pictures I took previously uh, and it has a built-in accelerometer so if you turn it If you turn it any way it's gonna show it to you even upside down it's gonna show you so it's like the iPhone or iPod so that's kind of nice if you want to show it to your friends you're keeping it like this and you want to show it to your friends it shows it to them upside down and you could zoom into the pictures uh, by holding the zoom in and zoom out button and you could uh, turn the pictures by just clicking it and then you can zoom in by holding it and scroll around the picture uh, see if I like this horse just hit the crop button and if you hit yes it's gonna crop the image to that size and the projector if you wanna see I don't think you can see it much so clearly but I can try to show it to you and uh, zoom into it okay so now I'm gonna project the Ferrari logo to you this one yep yeah, that's kinda clear but you just wanna focus it to be here right so I'm just gonna put it from the top. Yeah, that's nice. And it's not gonna work on black screens because you know light doesn't come much on black screen. And this is a glossy finish, so you don't want to write on glossy stuff, you can use it on a paper or a wall which is a rough wall. Uh, so that's it now the cables I'm going to show to you uh, this is the audio video cable which they're talking about uh, this is a small port which you're going to connect to your camera now you can see it so wait for it to focus yeah so it's a cable that looks like this you don't get it from any normal mp3s or something like that so you wanna keep it safe and if you do lose it you need to go to a digital camera store to get it and it doesn't come with three wires like audio left and right it just comes with one wire for the audio that's the white one and then for video the yellow one because it's just a standard def uh, cable and then it comes with the usb cable which is about I think one meter long uh, one maybe 1.5 meter long and then it's a USB 2.0 and it's the same wire which we uh, which I showed you for the audio video cable and then we have the charger for the camera itself so uh, this is the charger and uh, this is the wire which you need for me because I'm in the United Arab Emirates. I have the 201, so I don't know what type you would be getting. Uh, it depends on which country you are in. So they would just change the cable and give it to you according to the place you live in. So uh, this is how you need to charge it. I'll be showing it to you. Let me just pop up back from my camera. Okay, so this is the camera, and you see this. Uh, golden stuff here you want it to you want to align it to the correct 
uh, to this pins right here so it should be correct let's push it in uh, most of you might know how to do all this stuff but this is this part is just for the guys who don't know and just move it aside and uh, um, I don't know whether you're gonna get this case with you but I did and it's not a Nikon I, because it doesn't come with a Nikon label on it just in digital so I think I got this free as an offer or something but I don't know whether you're gonna get it it depends whether you're buying it on an offer or in a normal yes so that's pretty much it thumbs up if you like it uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna say thumbs down because just thumbs up and like it and uh, subscribe if you like it the button is gonna be right here and that's it thanks for watching